Jose Mourinho is resting and rotating players as much as he can ahead of the Europa League final against Ajax. He wants as many minutes under the belts of players who have been on the fringe to see if they are ready to play in that Europa League final. And he also wants to rest key certain players. So who is going to be in this predicted 11 for the Southampton game? It's pretty hard to predict, but here is who I am going to say is starting. Now in goal, David De Gea, I think he'll continue holding his place there. Maybe, maybe we'll see Romero for Crystal Palace, but I doubt it very much. Jose Mourinho has already made it clear that he wants Sergio Romero to start unless there is an injury to him. So that won't change. Even if you think De Gea deserves it on being the world's best goalkeeper, Romero deserves it on his performances in the Europa League. And that is what Jose Mourinho is deciding to do. At right back, I'm going for Eric Bailly again. I actually thought he was quite good there against Spurs. But the main reason he is there is so that Jones and Smalling can continue playing as a centre-back partnership. Now, I don't really want them to because, let's be honest, they were trash against Spurs, trash against Arsenal. But they, one of them is probably going to need to start that final alongside Blind because Bailly is suspended. So the more minutes they get, the more opportunity we might have of seeing the, the Jones that we saw early this season coming back. Smalling has just not been good at all this year, but Jones, for a point, he was excellent until he got injured. So hopefully him playing more and more and more will get those minutes under his belt and he can start finding that form again because he desperately needs it. Now at left back, I've gone for Dimitri Mitchell. He has been playing there for the under 23s this season and he's coped very well. He's been moved into that position, so it's not his natural role, but he has been playing very, very well there. And let's be honest, I'm not sure we have many viable alternatives at left back. I think Matteo Dami will continue being rested. I think Daddy Blind will be rested for this game and Luke Shaw is injured. And Marcus Rojo is injured as well. So Ashley Young could have played there and he's injured. So there's really no options for Man United. And I think giving it to Mitchell would be a good idea because you, know, you never know, he could turn out to be an outstanding left back for the first team. And you don't know with these players until you give them a debut. So I think Mitchell for me is in line to make a debut here. Midfield partnership, I've gone for Herrera and Marouen Fellaini, who returns from his suspension. I think he'll play. I think he'll probably start the Europa League final as well. So he'll probably be rested for that Crystal Palace game with the last match of the season. Michael Carrick played in central midfield against Spurs and he was pretty woeful up until that pass right at the end for Marcus Rashford. Herrera came off the bench. Maybe it'll be the other way around in this game. Herrera will start and Carrick will come off the bench. Maybe we'll see Scott McTominay make his full debut. Who would you start in central midfield? Let me know in the comments. But for attacking three, I've gone for Mata, Mkhitaryan and Lingard behind Rooney, who I'm playing as a central striker. Rooney has passed it. Rooney shouldn't be at the club past this year, but I would rather see Martial rested after another excellent performance from him in a very hard, isolated role against Spurs in attack. And Lingard and Mkhitaryan and Mata behind them. I don't know if Man United have got too many options there, really. Who would you start? Let me know in the comments below. But... My enthusiasm for this game has been sapped by the attitudes of the players in the Arsenal and Spurs games. I'm so surprised that these players, yes, they're not our first team players, but they really didn't look like they wanted to win either of those games. Maybe that comes from Mourinho, but for me, the players could have done more themselves. But that is it for my predicted 11 for the game. Let me know your predicted 11 in the comments as always. Drop a like on the video, please, and subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.